Hi and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the entire process of setting up the Pickup Point Pro app. Keep in mind that this tutorial applies to the version of the app only for stores without access to the Carrier Service API. So let's get started. Once you have installed your app, you will be redirected to the Carriers and Countries window. If you haven't added any shipping zones in your Shopify store yet, you'll see a message indicating that no shipping zones are configured, along with a link to the appropriate section where you can add them. If you've already configured shipping zones, you will see the countries to which you are shipping listed here. As you can see, the only country we ship to is the United Kingdom. The first step in the configuration process will be adding the shipping rates, so let's navigate to the shipping and delivery section and add them real quick. In my case, I do not have any shipping method created yet, so I will add two shipping methods. The first method for delivery to the pickup point will be mapped with our application. Let's call it DPD pickup point as in this video, I will use a DPD carrier for shipping. The second method is a standard shipping method for delivery to the address provided by the customer on the checkout page. This method will be visible on the checkout page for those customers who do not select any pickup point in the cart. Now let's go back to our app's carriers and countries window. What we need to do now is to add a carrier. For that, click the plus icon on the right. Now I choose DPD from the list of available carriers. As you can see, the DPD carrier is inactive. To activate it, you need to click on the DPD icon and select Edit Carrier Pickup Point Settings. Now we're going to map the DPD carrier with the proper shipping method, which in our case is the DPD Pickup Point. It is worth noting that all methods created in the United Kingdom shipping zone are visible here. The final step in activating a carrier is to enable it. Once we have completed all the necessary steps and saved the changes, we will see a success banner indicating that the pickup point carrier we have added is active and we can go back to the carriers and countries page. So let's do that. The last bit of app configuration is adding an app block in the theme editor section. So let's go ahead and click on the Go to Shopify Store Theme Customizer. After clicking the link, we will be taken directly to the card editing page, where we will add our widget. On the left-hand column, click Add Block and select Pickup Points Map Cart Widget. It's best to move the widget above the checkout button. Finally, save the changes. If you click on the name of our widget, you will be redirected to the Edit section where you can change the default text and adjust the background color of the widget. Let's check if the widget is visible. We can see that the widget has been added to the cart page. The pickup points map cart widget will be visible in the cart, so it's necessary to hide all buttons that lead the customer directly to the checkout page. So let's do it. The Buy It Now button from the product page is usually quite easy to hide. Once on the product page editor, we simply need to click the Buy buttons and untick the Show Dynamic Checkout Buttons checkbox. Remember to save changes. As for the second button, which can be located in the cart dropdown or drawer, you may need a developer's assistance to hide it. If you need assistance in this case, please contact us via the support form. We'll be more than happy to help. I would also like to point out that in this video, I'm using the free Shopify Dawn theme. If you're using a paid theme or your theme has been modified, the template section on the cart edit page may look different for you, which could cause some issues with adding our block in the right place. In such a case, please also reach out to our support. Okay, now that the app is ready to go, let's check how it works. First, navigate to the product page and add the product to the cart. Click View Cart. Our widget is located above the checkout button, just where we placed it. Let's click the Choose Pickup Point on Map button. Now the shop customers can provide the pickup point address or select the pickup point directly from the map. The selected pickup point is visible in the widget. 
Once we've selected the pickup point, we can proceed to the checkout page. On the checkout page, after providing the shipping address, the only available shipping method is DPD pickup point as it was mapped with a DPD carrier. Our application will hide the standard delivery shipping method. Let's go back to the cart page for a moment. Let's assume that a store customer wants to have a shipment delivered to their home and will not select any pickup point. In such a case, the only available shipping method at checkout will be standard delivery as it wasn't mapped with any carrier. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.